Hi all, this is Ray from DCRainmaker.com. Today I've got Garmin's new Forerunner 225 watch. This is the first watch with built-in optical heart rate monitoring. So you can see the back there, that's the optical sensor. Uh, the sensor is made by Mio. Um, that's probably a good thing because uh, Mio has pretty good optical heart rate sensors for athletic use. Uh, they're one of the first companies that came out with optical sensors um, from a uh, athletic use standpoint in their Mio Alpha line back I think about three years ago now. Um, and now they have a bunch of other products like TomCom Cardio line, Adidas and others. Uh, so it's, it's definitely good that Garmin went with them. Um, it's basically a Garmin Forerunner 220 but with optical heart rate and activity tracking like the, uh, their Vivo Fit line. Um, so you can see it found GPS pretty quickly there um, and I can go ahead and change the data fields on it. Um, the unit supports three uh, fields per page and it supports two pages natively and then you can add um, a couple of different pages that aren't necessarily customizable. Uh, so for example I can go up here and I've got the clock page and I've got this new heart rate gauge page they've added. Um, so it's showing my heart rate right now. Uh, it's just reading it off my finger. And then as my heart rate increases, I can customize the different zones there to show different zones. Uh, so I can click up again. And I've also got a heart rate page that's dedicated just for heart rate. So I see the heart rate in my heart rate zone. Again, you can customize these zones. So if we go ahead and go back and look at that and go down into the menu there um, and into settings, and there's my activity settings. So this is where I would customize data screens. So for example, I've got screen one, as I mentioned, screen two, each of them have three pages on it. And then I have my heart rate page that I just showed you and the heart rate zone page. Um, and then of course the clock as well. I can set a couple different alert types as well as auto app and auto pause and auto scroll, uh, similar to most of Garmin's watches. And then we have timeout that allows you to extend the, the timeout from five minutes or a couple minutes, sorry, up to I believe 20 minutes. Uh, so if you're waiting for the start of a race. For the heart rate monitor itself, um, you can go ahead and pair to an external heart rate strap. Uh, so for example, if you were cycling, um, you would do that underneath sensors. And sensors also allows you to pair to a foot pod. Uh, that's it, you can't really pair to anything else, uh, just those two things. Sorry, as the uh, boat goes by there, they're a bit excited. Okay, so continuing on, uh, the unit does have Bluetooth smart capabilities, but it's just for connecting to your phone. So you've got to connect to your phone, pair it there, and then go ahead and uh, sync your workouts that way. You cannot pair it to any Bluetooth smart sensors. Here in the user profile is where I can specify my uh, information like gender and weight and age. Uh, this is what's used for calorie-based calculations. It's also where I can set up my heart rate zones. So if I go into that, um, I can change those zones um, based on, for example, up here at the top. There we go. Uh, beats per minute or heart rate zone and then if we go down here I can see uh, five zones I can specify five four three two one and I can also specify my resting heart rate um, and those zones are then mapped to what you see within that gauge I saw or showed you a bit earlier um, for the different colors you can set up one um, time or clock alarm per day uh, so in this case I just have nothing set but you can do just one time um, alarm per day. Activity tracking, this is where you get to see how many steps you've walked in a given day. Um, so by default it's on, you can go ahead and show the goal as well. The goal will dynamically change based on how many steps you've walked um, in that day and if you walk more it'll consistently try to, to give you that little bit of carrot and uh, move you along. And they also have the move alert, so the move alert will basically um, buzz or beep at you um, if you haven't moved in a while uh, over the course of say 45 minutes or an hour. So with that, um, most of the other system options are very similar to what you see on the Garmin watches. For example, you can change it from miles to kilometers, and you can change uh, pace to speed and so on. Um, note that there is not a cycling mode, so we see that with some of the other Garmin competitors. For example, the um, Polar M400, as well as the Sunto Ambit Run um, kind of mid-range watch there. Uh, we're not, that's not available on the Garmin watches, unfortunately, so that's one kind of bit of a bummer. Uh, not to have that. You do have your records though, your different PRs, so for example your one mile record and 5k and so on, um, but otherwise it's essentially just a Garmin 4 Runner 220 with optical heart rate recognition as well as um, activity monitoring. Thanks for watching.